That looks off center. Oh, yeah, it's definitely off center. Is it? If I just shift it over like here. That's. Yeah, that's better. 5.4. 5.4. I wish I could get some like more traffic or something for a stream. Cause man, no one watches. Yeah, it gets, it's starting to get real depressing. Do I not have MSQ even? Oh my goodness. Wait, where do I go for the next? Am I okay? I'm gonna assume the quest was in Rogers. Not Rogers, um. Mordona. This would be the point where if I wasn't streaming, I would just put something on YouTube, but I'm afraid of copyright. Where am I going? Daddy Big Brain, am I, is this where MSQ is? No. No, it's not. If it's not, if it's not there, then press there.
Wait, where's, where's, where's the first quest for the story? <laughs> this is. I wish I could resolve. Reflections and crystal. Uh. Oh goodness. I don't know where it starts. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna follow. I'm just gonna. Gonna look it up. I'm gonna have to. Okay, so it was. It was Mordona. I just didn't I just didn't look carefully enough. be a nice break from doing all the EX stuff. Graha. And you know what? I gotta ask him how he's doing. You can't not ask the boy how he's doing. Do you mean since I reawakened in this body? The hunger being par for the course, I have no complaints. All appears to be well. Though my memories straddle the lives I have the lives I have lived, there are no contradicting fragments which cause me confusion. Yet by the same token, it is a strange feeling to be possessed of my young body again. Even accounting for the crystallization, I do not recall ever being so light and spry. As for my soul, Ishtola assures me it is similar to yours, Minari. Minari. That is to say it is somewhat denser than others, but otherwise normal. On the face of it, it appears to make sense, but I couldn't help but consider the differences between your circumstance and mine. You, of course, merged with Ardbert, and as similar as your souls may have been, the fact is you were different people. Thus did your soul gain in density. How you were able to merge is another matter. Given what we know of the soul, that you possess distinct memories should have rendered the process more complicated. Though I put theorize, Perhaps your strong and shared desire to do so made it possible. In contrast, I simply merged with myself. Whatever additional experiences the older me may have had, my fundamental existence remained unchanged. Mind you, that's not to say that I hadn't improved. Far from it. At any rate, when our souls combined, it shouldn't have been a process of augmentation, but rather... Shall we say attunement? It seems somewhat strange that my soul has become denser. Or could this be the result of having undergone another rejoining? If so, it would serve as proof of a future that many thought that many fought and died to prevent. Lest we forget, my friend. Lest we forget. Hey Kral. Kral's eyes light up at the sight of you. Oh, greetings, Minari. Come to look in on our friends? Rest assured, everyone is quite well. I have been keeping a close eye on them, and have satisfied myself that they are all in fine health. As a matter of fact, they are just about to convene in Don's respite to discuss how best to use up their pent-up energy. Let's, let's join them, shall we? Da, 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 da. Hmm. 
the gang's all My here. Friends, oh. Now that we have all settled back into our bodies, it is time we resumed our duties in earnest. Let us speak of our plans. Ever since the Emperor's death, it's been one unsettling rumor after another. I have a mind to pay a visit to Garlemald to ascertain the truth of the matter. A prudent endeavor. Tis of the essence that we establish the full extent of the threat, not least if it should prove that Xenos doth indeed orchestrate events from the shadows. In light of which possibility, I shall accompany thee on thy mission. Be assured that thou shalt find me more a help than a hindrance. Thou requirest another to imbue thine ammunition, dost thou not? Shut down immediately. Assuming that's settled, there's something I've been meaning to look into as well. Oh wow. Hey, you're relevant again. Reese. Oh, I should probably You're fine now, right? No more headaches or keeling over. One second. I'm gonna close my door because there are people in this house that aren't caught up. Oops, they should be. Very good, it's very good story. Incredible story. Oh, one second. I just got a notification about a thing. New content. Oh, okay. It's just the stuff for this is stuff for classes. That's right. We're fighting fit and raring to go. Famous Lys Hex, former scion and hero of the Alamegan resistance. I mean, I did most of the work, but yeah, Lys was there. I don't believe we've met. Really? It's so easy to assume that all Archons are acquainted. But then I suppose your fields of expertise are rather different. Brahatir, at your service. I have read much and more about your exploits, Commander. It is a pleasure to finally make your acquaintance. Likewise, the others told me all about you. Do not be so sure. Words scarcely do justice to the vital role he played in our victory in the first. A more dependable comrade one would be hard-pressed to find. He's a good boy. Oh, look at him. Look at him. I love him. Oh, right. I did glance at the report. Uh, but I'd be lying if I said I understood half of it. Well, well. That's a uh, lot to take in. Um... Just to be clear, this means we're not heading for another calamity, does it? Shorn of their unsundered master's leadership, what Assians remain shall struggle to see their plans to fruition. And though I would ever advise caution, I believe we may rest easy for a time. I'll take that as a yes. Even so, oh, it's quiet. I don't know what to make of this business about Hydaelyn and Oh, it's because primers. shoot, I said the game audio low. A difficult truth to bear, yes. But at last, we understand the That's nature my of bad. our adversary. And Even when I talk, no oh, sensitivity, my micro sensitivity is low. Meaning Zodiac will never regain his full strength. Even so, as the oldest How and mightiest of primals. He remains a force to be feared. 
I completely forgot. Those I completely missed what they're talking about. The desire for salvation. We have seen oh, the it havoc it may wreak, and it falls to us to ensure that it is never again brought to bear upon this star. Well, I know the game audio is set to 20. But tell us, Lise, to what do we owe the pleasure of your visit? What do you mean? Isn't seeing my long-lost comrades reason enough? Hmm. All right, there was one other matter. I have a message from the Alliance, and before you ask, yes, hmm. it's about the Empire. So... After Emperor Varus's assassination, it seems his cousin Nerva made a bid for the throne. The trouble is, he wasn't the only one with designs on it, and it didn't take long for a civil war to break out. And it's not just in the provinces. Early reports say huge swathes of the Imperial capital have been reduced to rubble. The Alliance will soon convene in Alamigo to decide on a course of action. And we were hoping you'd come along. Well, as it happens, Rianje and I were just this moment planning a little trip to Garlemald. And we should be grateful for any advice the Alliance can provide on how best to make the most of our visit. To Alamigo, then. For Alamigo. Why don't you go on without me? There's something I need to look into. Oh, forgive me. You were just telling us. What is it, if I may ask? I want to find a way to cure the tempered. So she can cure her boy. Of course. Her, the child. You I think don't, it may be possible to adapt the treatment you use to help those corrupted by the Sin Eaters? I'm sorry, a cure for tempering? But that would change everything. Alizé, consider yourself uninvited. Go and find us this cure. I'll do my best. I was hoping you might join me. Don't worry if not, though. I won't hold it against you if you'd rather attend a stuffy meeting. Uh, no. I'll, I'll join him. No. Yo, yo, take me to this child so that we may figure out a cure. <laughs> I knew you'd say yes. I'll come too, if you don't mind, that is. Mind? I'm sure they would be glad of your company. Pray, enjoy your time together with your hero. My... no, no, that's not... I mean, I... I, I simply thought my knowledge might be of some use. Boy. Do what you want, my dude. We shall be on our way then. Godspeed. <laughs> well, make sure all y'all come back alive. I'm pretty sure y'all, I'm pretty sure they're all gonna be alive. They got that plot armor. Actually, no, I can't say that because. Anyways. Alright, let's figure this out. So the. Master volume is 30. How does that sound? How do I sound compared? Okay, just seems quiet in general. No, I don't know, because I don't want it to be too loud. But also, if it's quiet, it makes me really question how my other streams have been going. Okay, there's the 
gained increase. So now hopefully that works. Ba 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 ba. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, audio audio levels on Streamlabs look okay. Kicking up, kicking my speakers up more than I usually do, but it's okay for now. Okay. This is probably fine. When I set out to save Hulric, I think Gabu was always at the back of my mind. And having proved that the light corrupted are not lost, I am convinced that the same must be true for the Tempered. Similar to those corrupted by the Sin Eaters, the ether of Gabu's soul has been rendered stagnant. And though the root cause is different, perhaps the solution is the same. It is by no means an unreasonable hypothesis, I would say, and it warrants full investigation. Yes, I'm very proud of you, my little precious, my precious elf child. For anyone not aware, for anyone not aware, <laughs> Ali's Ali's is my child. Coco's Coco's child is Alpha uh, though. If you don't know who Coco Lamoco is, she's got better streams than I do, really. Pretty much anyone's got better better content than me. Let's be real here. If there is even a chance we can save Gabu, we have to try. But however much I'd like to race over to Limsa and set to work, there's no room for recklessness. Not when a child's life is at stake. As I'm sure Beck Luck would, would remind us, we still know little and less about the soul. Any number of things could go wrong if we don't exercise due caution. And so, before t attempting anything, we should learn all we possibly can about Tempery. Gabu was tempered by Tide. So, is either Titan or Ifrit? Because it's a goblin, right? No, not a goblin. Yes, a goblin. It was Titan. Sick. There's just one problem. Oh, Kobold, that not a goblin. I was wondering. I was wondering what it was. Goblins have the big old face masks. Kobolds are. Kobolds have like the cage masks. It's been a while. There's just one problem. Research into the condition has long since ground to a halt, and the combined work of, of the many scholars involved doesn't exactly amount to a wealth of knowledge. Not of the modern scholars, perhaps, but what of their ancient counterparts? I know the Alligans took a more, a more than passing interest in the subject. And if, we, and if what we seek is to be found anywhere, it would surely be at the Etherochemical Research Facility. Indeed, yeah, the kobolds have a very unique, esoteric, unusual, unique way of speaking. Alright, you got me there. You got me there. <laughs> good play, good play. Where they experimented on their on primals and their worshippers, yes? Good thinking. I've never actually been there myself, but I did read the reports on Azisla, which means we'll be needing an airship. Yo, we gonna go get the Sid? Hey, <laughs> an airship, you say? Meet me at the northern bank of Lake, Lake Silvertier. I've got a little surprise for you. Oh, and come prepared to travel. Make sure you have plenty of food, plenty of water, Maybe a little, maybe a couple snacks and dri uh, special juices and sodas. Extra couple bit things of clothes if you gotta. Some pajamas. Pack for a pack for how many days you're planning to stay and plus one more, because you never know. Extra set of clothes will never hurt. 
until you're on your way home with souvenirs and you gotta figure out how to pack everything so that you can't so that every, all the luggage weight isn't over the limit and you get charged extra this is a very bad joke I'm funny I swear for a weekend but it turns into six weeks that's rough oh my god look at the little outfit I love Tataru I give you the Bonanza, the Scion's very own airship. I love it. I love the airship. I love you. I built her as a company project with help from our friends at the Rising Stones and named her for luck and prosperity. I can't imagine something like that happened while I was working. Oof. Tataru, this is... this is amazing. We'll be able to fly just about anywhere we want. Our garments were impressive enough, but to build an entire airship. I see the annals do not exaggerate the many talents of the Scion's fabled coin keeper. <laughs> I'd also introduce myself as your pilot, except the training didn't go quite as well as I hoped. Uh, but that's alright, because we've hired this capable fellow here instead. Yo, sick hair. <laughs> Tataru, Tataru always continues to surprise me. This is all, because uh, she, she at first she was just like just secretary and doing, doing the paperwork, right? I feel less about Leo being, a, being able to do that. I mean, everyone's got their talents. So, the Bonanza is equipped with a full complement of mana cutters, by the way. Feel free to use them to get around Azla. But enough talk. It's time to fly. Shibachiko! Oh. Let's see, so I'll probably be streaming this for a while uh, until maybe around 6 p.m. or 6 p.m. Then, because I can't do anything after that, probably, because by the time I get back from dinner and stuff, uh, pat maintenance is going to happen at around 9. Take a lot of time with my stuff. Then probably just do more tomorrow. Honestly. I don't I don't know how long this is gonna take. Honestly, Sid would be jealous of the way that airship flies. Tataru has done her outdone herself. Anyway, here we are on Azisla. And Alphana's report did not do the scale of this place justice. Yeah, this map is huge. And I'm not for real. 
trying to gather in this place is low key torture because of because you gotta fly everywhere. Uh, I probably need silky pudding if I'm if I'm doing tank if I'm tank tanking for raids. Time I just want to refresh my time. Yeah, it's cool. I, I think I was just talking to myself a bit there. Man, they're still just giving you the silver pieces. It's only. Oh, oh. MSQ really doesn't give you a lot of money. Silky pudding, oven meatballs, or herring pie. I could probably, if I really don't need to, I could just sell these off. And I'd probably get more out of it than a thousand gold, a thousand gil of worth of silver pieces. This appears to be Helix, which means we stand in the Alpha Quadrant. To the east lies the Beta Quadrant, and... Yes, I believe I have my bearings. Though this is my first time on Azizla, I do have some familiarity with the place, thanks to the records in the Crystal Tower. Unless I am mistaken, this path leads to an etherite, beyond which there will be an information terminal. Terminal, I can read. I suggest we begin our search there. Here's the terminal. A moment while I search the archives for references to temporary. Cutscene. Ah, there we are. Iconic corruption and overview. That sounds promising. Indeed. Let us see what this report has to say. Hmm? I confound it. The contents appear to have been deleted. What? No! Isn't there something you can do? Uh, not from here, I'm afraid. But it may be that another copy of the report exists elsewhere. The question is where to look. It says here the report was written by someone named Owen. Is it likely that he sent a copy? That was the plainest name that I could have expected out of this place. Owen. Not even like a set. I would say it is a distinct possibility. Assuming he was a researcher here, he will have had quarters on the He will have had quarters on the Habis Habisphere. Hab Habisphere. <sighs> Goodness. A lot of fantasy names. We can ascertain the details at Habisphere Control. Let's return to the Bonanza and avail ourselves to the mana cutters. Speaking of airships, we will need them to reach our destination. Can't I just. Days! I forgot. You already have a suitable means of transport, don't you? No need to waste time accompanying us back to the ship, then. We'll see you at the Habisphere. Hey! I knew it. I was just gonna fly over there. I'm a bird. Hi, Daisy. Uh, speak with Graha. All the way on the other side of the map.
<sighs> oh, there they are. Admin. If the late Owen did indeed have a chamber here, this node will be able to tell us its number. Admin, where does Owen live? Chamber 4 is waiting 69. There. From what I recall of the layout, it should be somewhere in this in the vicinity of hmm? Warning. An evacuation order is presently in effect. Entry to the hemisphere is not permitted at this time. Foiled again. In all likelihood. The order would have been imposed during the fourth Umbra Calamity, and I doubt it will be lifted in the near future. Bzz. Energy level critical. Return to returning to base for recharging. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Well, surely there must be some other way to gain access. Force, for example? Dungeon? Oh. Hmm. Ere we, we, we resort to that, I have an idea. Were we to send a surge of energy through yonder control mechanism, it should prompt the system to restart, releasing the locks. You're gonna short the system? As for a suitable energy source, a concentrated lightning shard might suffice. Happily, I seem to recall that they are known to form at points of stagnant ether throughout the continent. You seem to recall? Are you honestly telling me that was in the records too? Ha! I am. A report sent to the capital mentioned that lightning aspect of ether was prone to pooling on the continent, resulting in surges that interfered with the coordinate. It's a lightning source. Yeah, really, Alize. Like the man got the man was locked in the tower for decades, a century, five centuries. He he really doesn't have a lot left to do other than study. And also, he was. What's it called? An arch he was like an archaeologist or something, or he was just... Was he an archaeologist or was he just an adventurer that got inspired by you? Or, or the, the Warrior of Light? It's been a while. Basically, man's a, man is big nerd. Like, double big nerd. Like, three alpha nose and an Urian J worth. Student about Dessian. Yeah, he, yeah, um, student about Dessian, and he wanted to look into the Crystal Tower because it had elegant technology that he wanted to study. And then, you know, Crystal Tower happened. I honestly don't remember either. A minor detail, I grant you, but in my role as a caretaker of the Crystal Tower, there was no such thing as too much elegant knowledge. Besides, my study my studies helped me to feel connected to the source. To home. I must have explored this facility a thousand times in my mind, but to finally stand here with the two of you, it is more exhilarating than I can well express. Happy to have you too, buddy. Now then, the lightning shard. If I may, I suggest we split up and search the beta quadrant. Oh, but beware of sprites. They are wont to put they are wont to manifest where the ether is tech now. Now you're just showing off. Which makes me think we should make a contest of this. The first to return here with a shard of wins. What do you say? 
Very well. It would be my honor to come third. <laughs> oh, buddy. Have some faith in yourself. Come on, like, come on, man. This kid. At least he's on. Well, you gotta at least try, you know? Look at that, he went off. He went out first. I'm gonna crush the both of them, though. Find a point of stagnant lightning and defeat the lightning sprites that appear. Right there. Almost as if that it was predestined. Oh yeah, he do got that Peloton. Wow, I have no idea what my flight plan was here. I guess I'm going on below. Back up. This is why I have Coco fly everywhere. Or... <laughs> Wait, what? Is there like an entrance or something? Oh, there is an entrance. What? Lamo beans. It's gonna be over here. And then inside. Oh no, lightning sprites. Oh no! Anyway... <laughs> Bravo! Oh, wait. Oh, man. It's Fandango, but that means it's, As it's, that means it's Asahi. Little shit rat. Anyways, I, I like Fandango's I like Van Fandango's lines, so I'm gonna, I won't put energy into this anyways. <clears throat> and bravo! That was quite a show, adventurer. Why, the spectacle proved so enthralling that all thoughts of the prize left my mind. I appear to have forfeited our little race. Congratulations! The lightning shard is yours. Who are you? I just want to confirm. What? This. This kid. This kid really. Forgive me, my friend. The scene so reminded me of our first meeting, I couldn't resist. It's a callback to when I first met him. I, I don't remember. I don't remember this being our meeting. I thought he was just kind of there. I thought he was super serious when I met him, but also a dork because you know. He he liked the fact that I was a warrior of light and literally became an adventurer for that. It's been a while. It's been a long while since I did the Crystal Tower story. Well, the contest continues, so you'd better hurry back. Ah, but one last thing.
Thank you, Minari, for bringing me here. And he ran you around the fucking planes, teasing you the entire time as he was a brat. Who I remember, I remember him being a lot more serious. <laughs> it might be, it might be the fact. I think I mixed a bit of Leo into Graha's first meeting. Because Leo's also quite a bit of a serious person. He was a bright yellow cat, upturned nose and everything. Oh, goodness. Actual kid. Actual brat. Yikes. And then Crystal Tower happened, and then now he's all cool. But still a bit of a dork. Alright, so. Watch the Crystal Tower cutscenes again. I feel like it's gonna be real relevant. Again, re like relevant again. You know, y'all know, y'all know what I mean. <laughs> now he's baby. Did I win? No, oh, Alizé's here already. It appears Alizé had no luck, so victory is yours. Congratulations. Now then, may I have the shard? Ava loved him back then. She was so happy when she came back. I feel like everyone loved Graha, or at least to at some point, because I know I know some people aren't gonna be, you know, psyched to have to deal with some someone like a 2.0 Graha at the in the beginning, but you know by the end of it, obviously he kind of he slowly started going to his own, and of course Shadowbringer's head. What is it that makes you so much better at finding things? What do you have that I don't? Well, Alize, let me tell you about a little something, something called an echo. It's kind of cool. <laughs> that is a question I too have asked myself on numerous occasions. I suspect. <laughs> yeah, quest markers. What is a quest marker? You, uh, you wouldn't understand. I suspect we could both learn a great deal from Minari. Not only about the secrets of, of adventuring, but come, we should attend to our mission. Big ol' zap. Can't believe we literally solved our problem by just short-circuiting ancient elegant technology. Excellent. Excellent. The system responded exactly as intended. We now have access to the Habisphere. We're getting better at reading. Only one obstacle remains. The security systems within. Should they be triggered, they can make life rather difficult for us. In light of which, pray leave the rest to me. If I am right, my royal blood should allow me to, ven to venture in unmolested. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Assuming this place works like the Crystal Tower, yes. But if it doesn't, you'll be on your own. I want you to promise us that you'll get out at the first sign of trouble. <laughs> Sounds familiar. I promise. Wish me luck. He gets zapped uh, by the first door. Turns into it's just the guy from uh, Spike is 3D. <laughs> Cake. <laughs> Well, nothing for it but to sit tight. I'm sure this Owen fellow is very learned, but iconic corruption and overview 
Sounds like a studium thesis. We all had to write one. Lest you wonder, mine was about the combat applications of ether. I'm nothing if not practical. Oh, Alvin would absolutely have been on the theoretical side of things. Alpha Nose was more philosophical, of course. Political, I dare I say it. He chose to write a lengthy discourse on our nation's duty to the world. A controversial subject, to say the least. He asserted that Charlene's knowledge should rightly be used to protect all life on the star in direct opposition to the country's cherished policy of non-intervention. Being a leading f member of the forum, our father was not happy. At the time, of course, Alphano was utterly convinced of his views and would cheerfully argue to the death with anyone who saw things differently. By which I mean the rows were long. To be fair to him, though, he's since learned to be a little more open-minded, but deep down he still holds fast to that one belief, and I admire him for it. They really had to put in the gentle version of shadow of shadowbringers the gentle piano version of shadowbringers in this cutscene because dang this this immediately got me thinking of my characters gale would love alpha now. Like, she would absolutely sort of... She, Gale doesn't exactly understand the state of the world, but she's got... She usually has... I would say, I would say she 99% has a good feeling about the people that she likes to align herself with. So, if she ever met Alpha no in canon... That's it. That's it. He she would listen to him go on about poli her his political stances, his dreams for the world, wanting to unite unite everyone. That's all. That's, that's all she needs to hear. Elenea too, for, to a bit of an extent, she does want to. She is more of the. Uh, her studies are more practical, but she doesn't know about the political, the politics. It's sort of a bit of, I think it's a mix of both. Studying the practical, practical applications of ether to... The practical applications of ether to better the world. They'd have fun just talking to each other. Yeah. Um. Yeah, because no, yeah, no. D Gail's just. I would almost say dumb as a brick. But she she knows enough about. She knows en uh, enough about, you know, Uldal, Limsa, Gridania to be like, okay, this is what's happened. This is how they do things, sort of. This is the vibe of the area. I'll, I, can, I can try to adjust. But politics are like... Goodness. <laughs> and you go to write into me that I can't read. I really do be like that. Oh, Gail can Gail still barely knows how to read. She barely knows how to write. She's still learning. She's 20 and she doesn't know how to read or write. 
21, actually, at this point. I don't, I don't remember what her birthday was. Just gonna get a drink of water real quick. Lots of talking, lots of reading. Ooh, Cade. Oh, he knows Yanshin, Yanshin script and the Zela language, but he saw Ayo's in but what in the fuck? That's really, really, that's, that's a fairly reasonable reaction to foreign languages. It's just, I like your funny words, magic man. I should have liked to meet the young Alphano. For what it's worth, my thesis concerned the elegant civilization as depicted in folklore. Oh, Graha, totally. He learned that eventually with those first couple months. Hey, at least it took him a couple months. Gale. It's taking Gale like a year at least. Also, Graha once again proving himself to be a massive dork. It is, huh? Oh, you're back. I didn't know you attended the studio. I didn't. A thesis was required to earn my Archon's mark. My peers at the students of Baldessian convinced me to write one with the promise of unfettered access to forbidden tomes. It's all just fan fiction of different elegant <laughs> historical figures. <laughs> it's forbidden because it was too spicy for anyone to read. <laughs> Though I considered it no more than a means to an end at the time, I will admit it was gratifying to have my efforts acknowledged. Good gods, an Archon's thesis. I shudder to imagine the work involved, but enough about that. Is this the fruit of your foray? Yes. Owen's archive node. It was waiting for me in his chamber. It, if a copy of his report still survives, it would be stored in this device. Shall we find out? Yes, please. Excuse me. Orb. Initializing. Scanning for registered user. User not found. To proceed as a guest, please complete biometric authentication. Uh. Beep. Verifying. Beep. Authentication complete. Guest identified as member of the royal family. I am at your most humble service, your highness. <laughs> it never ceases to amuse me. Tis but a pity the effect will not last forever. I have a good computer voice. I could do I could do much worse. I could always sound like this. Hello, I am Microsoft Sam. Uh, highlight that shit. <laughs> Doga and Une said as much when they granted me this gift. But until such time as it fades, I shall use it gratefully. Search archive for iconic corruption that triggered my f fight or flight. <laughs> uh, I always get a kick out of using that voice. I remember when I was playing Siege uh, one day, and I was like, "I'm just not gonna care. I'm gonna use that. Vo I'm gonna use that voice in game." Uh, it was me, 
a couple of my friends, and then of course we had the one random. Uh, one guy team killed me, and said they reported me and muted me. I'm just sitting here like, bruh, it's casuals, it's unranked. What are you doing? <laughs> Chill. To be fair, I would, I kind of would, I kind of understand the uh, muting and maybe reporting. Because seriously, I was playing, I was making call outs with this voice. Hello, are you ready to play a rousing game of Rainbow Six Siege? Like that, the entire time, uh, that particular match. So. I mean, I understand the muting. I can kind of, I can debate the team killing. I can debate the reporting. The team killing was a bit much. Anyways, beep. They're searching. Beep. One item found. Iconic eruption. An overview. The report is locked by the author. Please state password. Password? Password. The robot has a lisp. Well, go on then, your highness. Tell the nice node the password. <laughs> God. The... Uh... Right. Let's see. Come on, man. Tell him the password. Glory be to Alag. Oop. What if it's, what if it's just Owen? Long live Emperor Zand. Password. Beep beep. Password incorrect. Please try again. Confound it, bro. Language. Come now, passwords are invariably short and simple. For instance... Oh. Oh. Password! <laughs> I love... Oh. Oh, whoever did this cutscene, I love them. I love you for this. That was so unnecessarily... A no, it was on point anime. That was some on point anime. Like, editing. I love it. Oh, my heart. Oh! Nani? Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> the notion that the password could be something so inane would be laughable where, it, where it's not dangerously stupid. Furthermore, your contact in the presence of His Highness is grossly inappropriate. Know your place, handmaiden. What? I was going Oh. Oh, sweet. One second. Twitter just gave me a notification about Jessica Niwi. I don't know why I expect it differently. <laughs> Anyways, nor your place, handmaiden. <laughs> oh, she about to kill this bro. She about to kill this bot. What did that thing just call me? That guy would say something before Alize slashes the thing to bits. Uh, Wild Rose. Boop, boop. 
password incorrect. Again, be warned that any further inappropriate behavior in the presence of His Highness will not be tolerated. <laughs> That's it. I say we dismantle it and manually extract what we need. I, gotta, I like how they took the time to animate her drawing both pieces individually. <laughs> like she drew the sword first and then reached over to take out her focus. Now, now, let's not be too hasty. A single misstep and we risk losing the report altogether. I believe this may be a task for Sid and his colleagues. If anyone can coax Machina into cooperating, it's them. What was that look? What was that guy? I'm offended. Come, let us bear the node back to the Rising Stones. <laughs> oh, I love that cutscene. That was so good. Oh, right. I forgot the remote. The reward was food. Um. Wait, what's like the optimal tank food? Now I think about it, cause I wanna up my deeps. Determination. Who glorious food? Da, 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 da. I'm just gonna take the silky pudding and hope for the best. And if it's not the food I'm looking for, I could always just sell it on the market for Reviving the legacy. Grahatia seems Grahatia seems eager to bear the node away. Cutscene. Oh, please. Give me a voiced cutscene so I can rest. I should probably mention that I have yet to meet Sid since waking up. Brambrose did send word to the ironworks, but it appears our friend has been afield on urgent business. Nevertheless, I assure you my proposal to seek his help is no pretext, however, I'm, however much I might look forward to seeing him again. Him and everyone. But come, let us be on our way. Okie dokie. <laughs> Look at him, all but running. How sweet. Still, it wouldn't do to keep him waiting, shall we? Oh, just go straight back to Murdoch. Coco, how did Coco do all these? Uh, oh, chicken fettuccine. Right, the balance kept saying chicken fettuccine, so I can just sell the uh, whatever it is I just got. Silky pudding. Someone's, someone will probably buy it. That's another time now. Otherwise, I'll get distracted by other like just doing things. Yo, no, legit. I feel like I'm drinking so much water than I usually do. At least I'm taking like big old swigs. I'll get coverage. <clears throat> Wonderful news, Minari. 
Tataru contacted Sid on our behalf, and he is on his way here even as we speak. While we wait, I should I should like very much to hear what transpired at the Alliance Council. Would you be so kind, Cryo? As you know, the meeting was convened to discuss how best to respond to recent events in Garlemald. According to intelligence from our Doman allies, the War of Succession rages on, and the Empire remains without a leader. Amidst the chaos, the Imperial Legions in the provinces have begun to move independently on the Motherland. Of greatest concern to us is the... Oh, okay. Uh, of greatest concern to us is the third, a legion, a, a legion aligned with the with Lord Nerva. Who I just had a moment. It appears they have received substantial financial backing from House Brutus. Hey, Brutus! Shout out to Leo. So is there a legion? Brutus? Wait, House Brutus? Wait, Brutus? Brutus, aren't they the ones who took in Yotsuyu and Asahi? This bodes well. Xenos' movements, meanwhile, remain shrouded in mystery. We are hoping that Thancred and Nuriyanje will be able to shed some light on his activities when they return. Oh. Brutus is a surname and a given name. Just... Bruh. Yeah. Until such time as they do, the allied leaders feel it would be unwise to interfere in the conflict. Brutus is a sermon to give a name. Out here confusing me like this. Can't believe. Until such time as they do, the allied leaders feel it would be unwise to interfere in the conflict. And so, thanks in part to the imperial withdrawal from Gimlet, they have decided to turn their attention to the primal problem once more. Working with friendly factions among the Beast Tribes, they hope to reopen dialogue and explore new avenues for peace. Given the timing, I suspect they wish to put their respective houses in order ahead of a decisive clash with the Empire. Yeah. Because Leo has a character has a char uh, character or, uh, called Brutus. But he's like a teenager that we may or may not have kidnapped slash rescued. The details are very it was it's been a while. We basically saved him from dying in a mech explosion, held him in the Vanguard house for a bit, and now he's a bro. Whatever their intent, this is not a problem easily solved. The Lamincins, in particular, struggle in their efforts, and Alvino and Ishtola have been called upon to aid them. Brutus and Perval. House Perval. So long as we are dealing with the Tempered, I am afraid no amount of dialogue will avail us. But if we can develop a treatment for tempering, then anything is possible. You just gotta believe. Which is why we must succeed. On that cheering note, why not make yourselves comfortable in Don's respite? I'll show Sid in as soon as he arrives. Shuts down its internal Stadia game studios. Stadia service continues and we'll still see more third party games. 
but focuses now on partnering with other. I didn't even know Stadia did games. What? Nintendo replacing the multiplayer service system that has been using for almost two decades. What is happening? NEX is at least 18 years old by now, so it's dated. You might be surprised to hear that the Splatoon 2 version has an unused function to check to see if it's running on Windows 98? What am I actually reading? Found a list of the middle name title translations. There's a lot more of these than I, can, than I remember. One for every letter of the alphabet. Goodness. That's a lot. That's a lot of lore. Big respect. Ugh. Let's rest. time remembering all the canon Zela tribes. I barely remember the sub races. I can't remember the tribes. What's the what are the Lala sub races again? I know here is Midlander and Highlander. Elizin is Dusk White and Planespoke and Doomswork, okay. Pelican was Dusk White and something else. Alra is Zayla and Ring. Uh, Rogadin is Seawolf and... Oh god. There's... Yes. Mata? Hellsguard, Hellsguard and Seawolf. Hrothgar was lost and... <laughs> my, my, my lore knowledge is severely lacking. Boy Sid with his weird oven mitt. Forgive us for not coming to see you sooner, my friend. As you may have heard, we've had our hands full. In our defense, you are up rather early. I was under the impression you'd be slumbering a while longer. Oh, I would have been had you not fulfilled your promise. Ha! <laughs> I still struggle with that idea. From where I stand, the secrets of traversing time and space seem exactly as unfathomable as they ever did. But if an alternate version of myself has already laid them bare, I dare say that frees me up to concentrate on other endeavors. Speaking of which, you wanted my help with something. Uh, what is it? Hellions. Lost in Hellions. Hellions were the ones that, are, that remained by their queen. And the Lost are the ones that are basically nomads. Uh, looking for just doing work. That's what Kate is a lost. Technically, this is hush hush information. Cade, a uh, light run, is technically supposed to be a Hellion turned lost. Uh, so I feel like the subway said it made for it made him in. That still technically fits the description. His queen's not his queen's not gone, for the most part. But old man, bad history. And now he's the he is the uh, patriarch of the Light Run family. Oh, 
Rava and Tina. Well, well, well. A treatment for the tempering. And for the next step, you need to find the password to this Allegan's report. Just so. Oh, oh that's a yawn. Oh, oh goodness gracious. Okay. Just so, with nary a clue to guide us, we could be here forever and still not guess correctly. <laughs> exactly. And still not guess correctly. And thus we turn to you. Well, I'd love to say that we could help you. Uh, so I will. Once suitably configured, a Magitek terminal should make short work of identifying the password. I knew I could rely on you. Now, anticipating that it might be of use, I took the liberty, liberty of borrowing a tombstone from Rambros. It contains an Allegan Dictionary. Sick. You got a dictionary, yo. Oh, right, because Sid doesn't have the echo. So... I would be able to translate it on the spot, no problem, but everyone else needs a translator. Or most everyone else. Good thinking. I'll transfer the information to a terminal and set it to work right away. <laughs> the, the microwave ding. Oh yeah, Echo is Sandy. Everyone did. I think it was. I think Echo was like most languages, if not all of them. I got rid of that. that. Oh no, that's no, oh, that's every that's every language. <laughs> Which character is a hot pocket or pizza roll uh, kind of person? Alphano would be Alphano would eat pizza rolls. Alizia would get Hot Pockets. Tataru would get Pizza Rolls. Uh, no, not Pizza Rolls. Uh, uh, Tataru would also get Hot Pocket. If it's herself, she'd get a Hot Pocket. If it's for people, if it, if she's provided for other people, Pizza Rolls. Rain, definitely Pizza Rolls. Uh, oh goodness, the adults. Uh, Ishtola. Wait, I, th I think. Thank you, we get hot pockets. This is the kind of content you know. This is some high quality content you're, uh, that you'll. This is probably the highest content you'll get out of my streams. Freedom. The password is freedom. Huh. Short and simple, just as I said. Would you care to do the honors, your highness? I would, my lady. Node, open the ret... Open the report entitled Iconic Corruption and Overview. Password, Freedom. Password accepted. Bleep. Opening report. It is man. Look at this dude with his e-boy haircut. This is not the face. This is not what I was expecting. A look from a guy named Owen. 
and I'm blaming Total Drama Island for setting in my expectations of a dude named Owen. <clears throat> this report seeks to provide an overview of the mechanism by which icons corrupt and bind men to their will. Oh my god, he looks like a K-pop idol. Or like a or like a Japanese drama actor from like Kamen Rider or something. Bruh, Total Drama Island was part of my childhood. I played the I was on that website. I played the Cartoon Network games. Total Drama Island. Uh Foster's Home. Um, the MMO, what was it called? Fusion Fall. I remember, I remember clearly too, Total Drama Island had a thing where if you were the top player, your character would have been in the finale. Chat, don't remind me I'm old. I probably watched it when I was like 12. Days, aren't you like my age? <laughs> we gotta stick we gotta stick together in this. <laughs> Hold on to the youth. The phenomenon we call corruption refers to the alteration of the ether of the soul. <laughs> Nipton symbol. Said ether ordinarily exists in equilibrium, no one element being more prominent than another. This is important information for any role players out here. But when a subject is exposed to the ether of an icon, this changes, their soul taking on the properties of the entity in question. Arr. Ah. Set. Set rot. By way of by way of an example, exposure to the ether of the fiend Sephiroth would cause the subject's ether to become aligned with the element of earth. So we just need an L. We just need to. Oh, what's it? What was the theory? It's either that we need to expose the person to more to an opposing ether, or is to simply somehow remove the excess earth ether to balance everything out. It's one of those. It was like one of those two, th two ways. It's either upping every other ether. Or lowering the excess. Or removing the excess, rather. As a consequence, the subject would attain heightened affinity with Earth-aspected magics, as well as preternatural events, levels of endurance. Repeated exposure would further enhance these traits, ultimately altering the subject's very flesh. That's not good. Well, that's not good at all. The changes undergone by the subject are not solely at attributable to the elemental alignment, however. Further testing has determined that the subject's soul becomes umbrally charged or stagnant during the process. So, if it's umbral earth, astral earth? This, this stagnation of the soul has the effect of diluting the sense of self. Also, I think he just definitely sacrificed the guy. Or or just the man's good at illusions. This stagnation of the soul has the effect of diluting the sense of self, rendering the subject vulnerable to the will of the icon, the thoughts of whom can come to consume their entire existence. In this manner do the corrupted become worshippers of the icon, their prayers serving to further empower the entity. <laughs> it's 
so that was this those these transitions are blissfully extra. Having discerned the mechanism of iconic corruption, my colleagues and I set out to develop a material capable of shielding one from its effects. An endeavor in which we were successful, albeit at great cost. In the course of testing, many of my assistants, good men and women all, fell victim to the corruption. And in accordance with protocol, they were summarily put to death. I subsequently submitted a proposal to investigate potential cures for corruption, but it was rejected, deemed non-essential by Lord Amon. Though I knew it would be fruitless, I protested the decision, and from my impertinence, I had been stripped of rank and title, and will shortly be expelled from this facility. In all, likely in all likelihood, this report will be expunged from the archives. Nonetheless, I record it in the hope that one day, someone will undertake to do that which I could not, and find a cure for the victims of iconic corruption. End recording. Remember. Remember that they once lived. So not even the Alligans were able to find a cure. Or rather, were not given a ch the chance to do so. One cannot help but wonder what motivated Lord Amon's decision. Asians. When in doubt, Asians. More importantly, this confirms that stagnation of the soul is indeed the problem, and Angelo can remedy that. Remedy that. Remedy? I'm losing myself. True, yet were we simply to reanimate a tempered soul, I fear it would do not to diminish the individual's fanatical faith in the individual's fanatical faith. Indeed, it may well intensify it. No. We would somehow need to suppress the primal's hold over the subject at the same time, or risk them ever remaining its thrall. Princess Remedy in the world of Angelo? That sounds like a reference I don't understand. Unless it's just generic princess stuff. I'm, I can be dumb sometimes. <laughs> I mean, not sometimes. It's pretty often. Princess Remedy is a game. I'm gonna do it quick, Google ones. Princess Remedy in a world of hurt. This looks cute. Mm. Anyways. If only we could make them, if we could only make them remember who they were. Oh, it's free. Okay. I might just add it to my library just to, just for the sake of it. But of course, memory transference. The process has the effect of comp compartmentalizing memories, separating them into manageable bundles, if you will. By adapting the technique, it may be possible to achieve selective reanimation. That is, limit the effects to, tho to only those memories that existed prior to tempering. Through thus restoring the sense of self, we could theoretically drown out the incitements of false faith which had come to dominate the individual's thoughts. Wait. So... What you're saying is, extract the memories prior to, prior to prior to the prior to tempering. Destroy the body and make a new one. No. Extract me extract extract memories up until the tempering. Then just. Then do the thing with Angelo, 
then put the rest of the memories back. So they're basically... Oh, that's going to be real complicated for some people. Who have probably been tempered for who knows how long. Ether is weird. Ether is so weird. I see. The theory seems sound. Oh, that's another yawn. And our experience trading the light corrupted would help us to identify suitable memories for reanimation. But are you confident you can adapt memory transference as required? I seem to recall your attempts to do so while trying to bring us home culminated in literal bloodletting. They did, you are right. Despite my best efforts, I could not recreate the mechanism. And I can see that the rather clumsy compromise I reached would not provide the basis for a cure. Then perhaps it's better that we consider another approach. Your doubts are understandable, but this time I believe we have reason to be confident. You see, nodes such as this were built with the ability to simulate magics. Which leads me to believe that, if may, that it may be capable of performing simulations of the transference technique. If so, we would be able to conduct years worth of tests within the space of a few days. So what you're saying is, we turn in people into robots. Hmm. In theory, it would be no different. Yeah, wait, off his voice. Mm. Mm. In theory, it would be no different from how we identified the password. But it'll take more calculating power. A lot more. Honest, I honestly couldn't say whether our equipment would be up to the task. Get yourself a 3090, bruh. Upgrade your tech, bruh. Uh, 3090 is a graphics card. That wouldn't necessarily help. Tell me, Sid. Why do you suppose Owen locked his report behind a password? To keep it from, to keep it from prying eyes, of course. Why else? Brain blast. Wait. A password that could be guessed by anyone with leisure and a dictionary wouldn't keep it from a person minded to look. No. He wanted his report to be seen. By those who strive for freedom. Not unlike the members of a certain distinguished engineering collective. I believe their motto was freedom through technology or some such. You too. Round up as many Magitech terminals as you can find and bring them to the workshop. Right away, Chief. Yeah, it's out of cheer them on. Things are about to get very busy. Lucky we have you to help, eh? <sighs> right. While Grahant and I, while Grahati and I configure the terminals, I want the rest of you to procure supplies. Namely, ceruleum to fuel the terminals and ice shards to keep them cool. The more we have of both, the better. <laughs> Y'all don't got like a water cooling system in the um, PCs? Leave the ice shards to me. I'll round up some adventurers and go on a gathering spree. In that case, I'll trust Minari and Alice with the ceruleum. Here's a promissory note for each of you. Ceruleum can't be that expensive. Take them to the Sky Steel Manufactory in Ishgard and the Ceruleum Processing Plant in Thanalan. The people there will give you what you what we need. Yours is a well-known face on the Holy Sea, I believe. If it's all the same to you, I'll head to Thanalan. Alright, I figured I was gonna go into Ishgard. I thought I was done with this place after After all the lotto debacle. That I've experienced. Uh, I just want my casual attire. I swear. The market the the market board prices are lousy. 
No. I'm I can't go back now. I don't want I don't want to deal with Koopa of Fortune right now. It's too much. It's my it's just too much. The amount of times that I had a chance to get like I posted screenshots yesterday. The amount of times I got casual I had a chance for casual gear and I missed it by one. I missed it by one space. Plus I hate uh I guess I do gotta deal with this at some point. What's with these Yup, hold on. We talking about Owen being looking at K pop idol. Look at these dudes. Are you kidding me? What in the world? Also, my throat's killing me. More water, please. I think they're part. They're. I think they're part of the. Oops. They're part of the. Uh, Heaven's word. Uh, level 50 to 60 Heavensward story. No, level 50 to 60 was uh, the girl. These are. This is level. S no, wait, no, this is level 50 to 60. Right? I was a lander hand level 80. Wait. Oh! It's the Sky Steel people. But. I mean, I might as well clear this up. It's. it's oh, wait. It's a cutscene. Oops! I don't even know what's happening in this story. Allow me to introduce Nimi. Uh, nope, nope, nope. Not gonna try this accent. I I forgot I started this days. Should I skip this? I really don't know what's happening. Nimi and Denise. Dennis? Denise? Denise? Names are weird. Fellow engineers at the Skystill Manufacturing Partners in this grand endeavor. That's Dennis. No, legit, look at this. Look at this dude's figure. Like, what? Is, this is like. So. Is it lithe? Is that the right word for this? Lithe? Lanky? I've seen too many idols that look like this. And it's throwing me off so much. But I would wager that you have yet to be enlightened as to the nature of the said endeavor, am I right? To put it simply, all at the manufactory, from Stefan Nivian to the freshest faced of apprentices, have been seeking a means to aid in the construction of the firmament. We searched high and low. Literally, he means, in the storehouse. And wouldn't you know it, we found a whole pile of tools just sitting there with all the junk. Wait, are they just giving me extra tools? Judging by the- that is a woman. I thought it was a dude the entire time. Judging by the plans they were heaped on top of, they were only prototypes, but they're fine things- Is this? 
Wait. Is this what the... Is this... Is Sky Steel like the relic stuff? Is that what this is? Pro, because these are prototypes, so I'm assuming... Maybe so much. Fiance is here for a day. Have fun. With, oh, yeah. Have fun days. Thank you for hanging out, by the way. Literally, literally everyone that's been coming here and hanging out. I really appreciate it because streaming to zero viewers has been real hurtful. So, at the very least, this is a nice thing to do, like commentary and stuff. Proper commentary and story sharing. I just don't understand. I just don't understand how to do this. things. If we could improve them, turn them into the maximum works they were meant to be. Oh, this is Relic. This is Relic? This is the Crafter Gatherer Relic. Will this end up being better than the gear I'm currently using? I'll, I'll figure it out. Because I got like five... I level 500 gatherer gear right now from the scripts. Suffice it, say, suffice it to say that any one of them might make for a notable contribution to the restoration effort. Why, we could even reward them to especially dedicated sky builders as thanks for their hard work. To do so, however, we need the aid of one who truly knows the tradesman's tools, not only in theory, but in practice. Someone willing to aid in their trial and reforging. <laughs> You've come to the right hurrah, or I've come to you. In any case, I'll do it. Yes. He loves to see it. Without further delay, then, I present to you this prototype. Unpolished, though it may be, I'm certain you will find it to be more than serviceable. Well, time to shove that in my inventory until I actually work on it. And if the first taste has you yearning for more, come and talk to me. We have all sorts of tools waiting, uh, awaiting the firm grip of a skilled hand. Yeah. God damn it. That's precisely the sort of phrasing that... <sighs> Never mind. Do let me know when you're finished, when you've finished making your inspection of the prototype. Sick. So this is relic stuff. Sky steals. Tools unlocked. Sky Steel Prototype Coffer will dispense a primary tool based on your current class at the time that it is open. Tools for other classes can be obtained by speaking to Dennis at the Sky Steel Manufactory. Alright. That's the thing. Work it harder, make it better, do it faster, make it stronger. Oh. I got I gotta not I gotta pay attention. Pay attention, story. I'm here for a reason. I'm, uh, this is not the place for that. Shout out to uh, Saint of the Firmament. Firmament. God. Shout out to Matt for doing Saint of the Firmament. I'm working on that. I genuinely can't imagine trying to do something like that. The amount of hours... I've said this before, I'll say it again, live. Ranked is some garbage for crafting. Like, are you, are you for real? Like, and I've seen the results. Someone posted results. There were eight people there are, no, not that eight people. There were eight characters with basically the same name taking up one crafter class. Like, no. It's, it's so flawed.
Anyways, mini rant over. Calabonja. Cerulean, you've come to the right man. A fair warning, though. The price has shot up on account of the uncertainty with the Empire, so I hope you've got the coin. Promissary. Issued by the Garland Ironworks, this promissory note is intended for the purchase of the quantity of cerulean specified thereupon. Well now, a promissory note from the Ironworks. Don't see many of these. Not that it's a problem, it says it's as good as gold to me. Dude, my nose has been runny and stuffy so recently, but I'm like, I don't feel sick. And it's not affecting anyone else. So I have no idea what's happening. Also, cutscene. My friend! Oh, thank God. After thank the Lord. disappointment of not seeing you in Alamigo, what good fortune to chance upon you here of all places. As you may have heard, the Allied Nations are making a renewed effort to address the primal problem. To that end, have I invited the chieftain of the Vanu to Ishgard, that we might together plot a course. Since the war with the Empire appears to be nearing its conclusion, I would also like to call upon Estinian's lance. Alas, he is, as ever, a difficult man to find. Shocker. I am informed he recently paid a visit to the Rising Stones. Should he happen to do so again, be sure to pass on my regards, won't you? But tell me, what business brings you to our fair city this day? A cure for tempering. You never cease to amaze me. Until now, our only hope has been prevention. Our every failure irrevocable. But this, this would rewrite the rules of engagement. It could end the cycle of bloodshed. Very well. You shall have all the ceruleum we can provide. And an airship with which to transport it. In this matter, you may count on Ishgard's full support. Most, if not all, the V8 for this patch was done from home. Understandable. I think I already, I, I think I heard about that when it, when the patch came out. Is this if it's studio quality, honestly? Yep. Like I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if uh, Square Enix or whatever studio. That they record, that they usually record from, just sent them equipment to for uh, during recordings. Uh, I uh, actually maybe not. That sounds pricey. The shipping costs and all that stuff. Sally's a she don't look so good. What's wrong, child? Oh, you tired. Oh, who would have thought Cerulean weighed so much? Serves me right for being stubborn, I suppose. Without, without I should direction? have just done what you did and accepted what? help. It's legit. It's studio quality. Like I forgot they recorded from home. This is all we ask for and more. 
quite a lot more now that I look at it. Crowd, Crowl and Tataru put in some work. Lord Emmerich, eh? And entirely by chance. <laughs> Some people have all the luck. Same voice. We it's have been also a while succeeded in voice. configuring the terminals. Thanks in no small part to our able assistant. <gasps> oh my goodness, he's here. Madoka Magica's returned. It's been a while, hero. You seem surprised to see me. Lest you misunderstand, I've no interest in such things as cures for tempering. Can't but believe if you mean to achieve that here. which eluded even the storied Allegans, it seemed plain that you would require my expertise. <laughs> and so it proved. Is that not right, Garland? Is this... For all the effort it took to track you down after your latest disappearing act, you could find the cure for death, and it wouldn't be worth the trouble. <laughs> Here they go again. Dads are arguing again. Not dads, grandpas. These dudes are old. <clears throat> that wasn't the only reason I agreed to cooperate. I'm reliably informed that Garland and I are destined to unravel the secrets of travel, not only across dimensions, but through time. Doubtless, the lion's share of the credit lies with me. Nine parts to Garland's one. And this research will be a stepping stone to that illustrious achievement. Uh, very well, then. I'll do a tenth of the work. Just the part that's beyond you. Wait, he's 33? <laughs> Whatever you say, Garland. These guys act like they're 50s. By the way... The healing applications of Crystal Foci proved very useful in getting us to where we are now. I must remember to thank Mikoto. Mikoto. Right. If everyone's ready, let's begin. I guess his Sid voice wasn't that far off. It's incredible that they even have individual voices. Uh, all appears to be in order. Now, we just have to wait for it to find us our magic. Why not take this opportunity to put your feet up? This may take a while. A chance to rest? Yes, please. Just looked into Alpha No Sucks channel and I saw the. I forgot that the Final Fantasy X outfits were a thing, and I'm sad that I can't get them. Or if they're on Mod Section, I can afford them. Things are going wrong now. Damn it. It's overloading. Oh, that's not good. Uh, ice magic? She won't last much longer! Uh, we'll have to shut it down! Wait! We're close! So very close! Aha! Uh -huh. Don't don't try to rush, don't try to force this. Well, this is going swimming. Nero not now. Please, Remark station. A I can I beg you. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, by a miracle, they found it for a second. I was able to memorize the magic before it faded. It still needs to be put to the proof, but I believe we have our cure. Sharp eyes, Graha. Why isn't it cutting the wedge? Okay. Okay, he's alive. It's just as well. 
He'll never run again. Oh. The fault is mine. I'm sorry. Don't be. It may fall short of dimension hopping, but a cure for tempering is not to be sniffed at. This, my friend, is a world-changing discovery. One we're proud to have had a hand in. <clears throat> a few Magitek terminals are a pittance to pay. Thank you. Well, we've done what we can. The rest is up to you. It's been about two hours since I started. I need some water, so I'm gonna take a bit of a break. Uh, thank you again for hanging out with me through this. This has been a bit of a this has been a fun journey so far. Nothing traumatic has happened, which is actually a little concerning. I know there's a dungeon in here at some point, but I can't... I don't know where it is. Or when it is. It's no fun. Oh, 5.3 was... Who? Who? This is a nice calm after the storm. 5.3 was a trip. But... Who? Anyways, nice quick break to get some water. I'll rest a little bit. And we'll continue with Forget Us Not. We are back.
Alright, I return with water and a nice peanut butter sandwich. Meanwhile, Alize only has one thing on her mind, and it's disgusting. Oh, I shouldn't have taken a bite after a bite while accepting a cutscene. I'm gross. I'm actually gross. At long last, we have our cure. It's using Limit Break early. SMH. In theory, at any rate, we cannot be certain until such time as we put, put it to the proof. But I am quietly confident. Well, if we're to test it on someone, then I suggest Gabu. His symptoms are relatively mild. As long as you as long as you exercise, do caution. Leo's not here anymore, but I would audibly glare. Yes, as long as we exercise, do caution. It will be fine. Without further ado, then let's make for Limsa. We've kept Gabu waiting long enough. Bye bye. Haha. Imagine not using teleport. Shout out to Google Stadia development shutting down after two years. When I can't even think of any title that was Stadia. Did they re did they release anything? They tried. But then I guess the head of Stadia development left, so it was just like, well, at least we have the program. We may not have the game, but we have programs. Well, this is the moment of truth. I'll have our hosts bring Gabu to us at once. Apologies for the wait. Gabu, have you been good? Still no change, I'm afraid. He just stands there in silence until we move him. It's all right now. We're going to help you get better. Fancy meeting you here. Alfano Yushtola! I thought you were attending to primal matters. We were, and came here for a meeting on the subject. Certain pirate factions did not deign to attend, however, and it was cancelled. 
We had resigned ourselves to having wasted a journey when we chanced to espy you. Could it be that there has been progress with the treatment? Using Magitech terminals to formulate the solution. I would never have contemplated such an approach. So this new magic, adapted from memory transference, would be used to purge the subject of their fanatical faith, while Angelo would be responsible for reanimating the ether of their soul. Hmm. Yet I wonder at the practicalities. If one were to reanimate the soul first, it would only serve to exacerbate the tempering. Conversely, a stagnant soul would not respond to the effects of the magic. Would both need to be performed simultaneously? Ah, nothing escapes Master Matoya's inquiring eye. As you say, both must be carried out simultaneously. And thus, I propose to imbue Angelo with a tempering treatment in much the same manner as I did the spirit vessels. Time for some magic science. Angelo! By doing so, we also spare Graha the trouble of casting spell after spell. It's really rather efficient. Be that as it may, certain difficulties are unavoidable. The imbuing process will still require no small amount of ether. And, as I can no longer draw upon the Crystal Tower's stores of energy, I will be compelled to rely on those of others. Well, I for one would be glad to assist. As would I. Since the resumption of our duties, it has been naught but stuffy meetings. And I have ample ether to spare. Excellent. With your permission, then, let us begin. Yes, this will do. And now, it's my turn. Okay, dude. The angel just explodes. Is done. Gosh, everyone's starting to get so extra. No small amount indeed. Oh. Well, we seek to go where even the Allegans did not. It was never like to be easy. The rest is up to you, Alize. The treatment itself will take time and focus, so we will need a quiet room. I'm sure our hosts can spare one. I will go with her. It may be a while before we return, so I would ask for your patience and your faith. We really don't have another, any other choice in this matter, so I'll, I'll wait. We'll bring Gabu back. You see if we don't. Twould seem our part is played. Let us find a place to recuperate while we wait for news. This seems as good a spot as any to have a rest. 
but then why are you moving away? What? For years, Eorzea has labored to find a solution to the primal problem, without success. Any hope that tempering could be reversed faded long ago. I myself had given it up as impossible. Given up on the tempered and the light corrupted alike. They were problems to be tolerated, or else eliminated, I believed. And to think otherwise was pure naivety. Childishness, even. But Alize refused to give up. She struggled and she struggled. And her efforts were rewarded with a way to bring back Halric. And now countless others may no longer be beyond salvation. However much we bicker, I have the greatest respect for my sister. Had I half her stubbornness, nay, her unwillingness to accept the status quo, I would be a far better person, a far better scion. God, these these two really have come a long way. More than anybody, Alif, Alpha Noah and Alize have had the biggest development. If I'm remembering correctly, Alize wanted nothing to do with any of this. She, like, she just hated everything. Or at least had a, a distaste for everything. And now she's pretty much co leading the cure for a condition that was thought, even Alphano thought, was impossible. Even the most skilled scholars and healers were just, you know, done. You know, Alize come in here, said no. We have a chance. Uh, Alphano, conversely, he had plans. He had ideals, like Alize stated earlier. But he was just not, in the beginning he just didn't know, he did. He had absolutely no idea what he was doing. Which is understandable because he's like 16 at the time. And after going through Heaven's Word, after Rummy Born, Heaven's Word with the, uh, the Braves. A little bit of Stormblood. You know, Shadowbringers. If he tried again, I think he would make a pretty good Grey Company. Because he knows it this time. I should, I know. Yet, despite my good intent, I have the feeling that I would only succeed in incurring her ire. <laughs> uh. Uh. Alize, are you all right? The treatment. Did it work? Uh, I 
so glad to see you all. Delighted, happy, glad. Yay. Gabu. He happy. And he baby. I like the little, cl the little clapping <laughs> animation for kobolds. It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. All this time, my mind was filled with thoughts of Great Father Titan. But I never forgot about Mother and Father. Always, they were in my heart. Constantly, ever, always. So I tried to focus on their faces. Theirs and yours, Alize's and everyone's. And I found that I could remember one thing, then another, and another. Oh. Your hopes reached Gabu. They helped him to hold on. <sighs> it's possible. I'm so proud of you, Gabu. Alize is going to be a good mom. If she ever decides to be I couldn't have done it without you, Alize. Can you help the others too? Cure them, heal them, help them? Yes, we can. All of them. Ahem, <clears throat> Without wishing to dampen the mood, I feel compelled to add certain caveats regarding the viability of the treatment for general use. Oh. As you know, reversing the effects of tempering demands a profuse amount of ether. And while Alize was able to heal Gabu alone, I fear the same will not be true for those who exhibit more advanced symptoms. Moreover, the treatment's effects are limited to the soul. It offers no succor to those whose very flesh has been altered through prolonged exposure to a primal's influence. All of which is to say that we cannot save everyone. Maybe so. we can't, or maybe we can. No one gave us a hope of saving Gabu, and yet here we are. We must find a way to treat as many as possible. <laughs> this is a little too real at the moment. Then, the next logical step would be to produce a veritable army of porkses, would it not? Granted, it seemed a simple enough process in the first, but I suspect it will be different here in the source. Not that I am any authority, of course. Yet there is an authority on familiars to whom we may grudgingly turn. <laughs> She's stubborn, haughty, eccentric, irascible, laconic, Irascible and laconic. And her name is Master Matoya, the real one. Using very few... Okay, irascible. I having... have to go now, Gabu. Oh. But the people here will look after you, all right? And I promise to come and visit you again soon. All right. Thank you, Alize. Thank you. <laughs> it's time. We're getting there. We're getting to. We're getting to the. The dongle. Lemon waffles sound so good right now, though. Piety, vitality, determination. Spell speed, vitality, piety. Determination, vitality, crit. I'm gonna get this just because I really crit. Because I don't think I'm gonna be using any of these, but I really just want a lemon waffle. Uh, don't want this number. I. I got a message, a group chat about a thing.
<clears throat> asking, uh, talking to my D and D group about what's happening on Saturday, because I know we have raid on raid at five. So I'm thinking, depending on what's prepared and what time we're slated to do D and D. I'm hoping I'm hoping I can do both. I'm hoping I can do the D and D session and says like enough of the D and D session to be satisfied, but also make it to raid. But there is a chance I might I'll, I might dip again because we're getting we're once again dip, going into a bit of a story bit. Uh, I kind of I really want to see where it goes. Thankfully, I'm doing it real early this time. Even if we had to start later, it'd be fine. Even so, I, I'd rather not do what I did last time. I feel I still feel bad about it. If we do, if we have to dip, we're probably just not going. Cyber's working, PP dropped. Yeah. Yeah, I understand how that ends. The trace of a, of a wry smile is visible on Ishtola's lips. Lips. Ishtola's lips. As she will be at pains to remind me, I have not paid Master Matoya a visit since returning from the first, but this seems as good a time as any. Come, let us make for her cave. What do I want? If I can, I'll see if I can recruit some people to join this, join the, join pound mates, at the very least. Oh, another nerve uh, person. So they got very laggy. I don't like this. Oh, being in Edelshire does remind me. Being in Edelshire reminds me that I do need to uh, get. I still need to do. I still have some weeklies to do before reset tomorrow. We really only have one grenade, light, and cocoa for subs. I thought we have more. I guess because a lot. Oh. Huh. Yeah. Right, Abel had to leave all these. All Abel never really. Has Ollie ever really done any of the runs with us? I think he was there for t Unreal, right? Yeah, he really hasn't been. He's more. Ag he's more of a World of Warcraft. Yeah, Shiva. Wow, that was a long time ago. Oop. 
Well, hello. Didn't mean to be this close, but... Yeah, boy. I take it you're ready to bear witness to the joyous reunion, reunion of master and pupil? Very well. time, then you bring every man and his pirogo with you. Did no one teach you any manners, girl? They were too busy teaching me etherology, master. Jesting aside, I wanted to be the one to express our gratitude. I am told you spared no effort to sustain our bodies while we were away. And for that, we owe you our lives. Thank you. <laughs> you were gone so long. I was starting to think you'd set your heart on staying. It wasn't easy to leave, as it happens. Seldom does one have the opportunity to study other worlds, and I would not have minded extending my stay by a handful of years. Ever the scholar. Yishtola dedicated herself to studying ancient civilizations of the first, befriending a tribe known as the Knights Blessed in the process. There she took on the name of Matoya and won the respect of all the children of the forest. That doesn't seem like something you should say out loud, Alpha, though. Oh, you doofus. Oh, even Yishtola's like, oh no. I merely adopted an alias in accordance with the custom of my hosts. Yours just happened to be the first name that came to mind. You mean to tell me you went gallivanting about using my name and only bother to visit when you need a favor? And don't pretend you don't. I taught you long yeah, enough. Yeah, I understand the school. The school would take a priority. I'm personally trying to balance everything out. Indeed. Rough start. But, and devoted um, pupil that I am, I could not I've fail to recall my master's sage advice. When the answer eludes you, look to the wisdom of your elders. You there. Were you going to introduce yourself? How remiss of me. Grahatia is my name, and I am proud to call myself a scion. I too wish to offer my gratitude for your invaluable aid in sustaining the Archon's bodies, as well as my apologies. It was my inexpert summoning spell which endangered their lives in the first place. I honestly couldn't remember the last time I heard Matoya's voice anyways. Ah, yes. The one bent on digging up the mysteries of Alag. Old Galak used to speak of you, and Kryles told me all about your recent exploits. Do you have a bad back or something? At ease, boy. Whatever mess you've made, I'm not in the habit of dwelling on the failings of the younger generation. Ain't got time for us Gen Z folk. You are too kind. I've also heard much and more about you, Master Matoya. It is an honor to finally make your acquaintance. Well, that's more than enough pleasantries for anyone. Tell me what you want. I haven't got all day. Be past. Dang. So that's the way of it. It should be a simple enough matter to make the familiar. The magic, on the other hand. Ah, that you may leave to me. 
Being the only one possessed of royal blood, I alone can imbue the subject with the necessary magic. So I just need to create Forxes with the power to stir the soul. Just, I say. Though we're talking about a veritable herd of the little buggers, we collapse before we reach double figures. But if I could get a familiar to create the familiars, a mother porksy, as it were. Are they gonna make Angelo a mother? Am I gonna fight? Por Am I gonna fight porgies? Seems I haven't seen the last of that moldy old hole after all. Am I just gonna make? Am I just gonna fight porksy clones? They're like the rejects. That's sad. That's sad to think that there's reject porksies. All right, out of my old workshop, then. Everything required to make your familiar is there. That may be, but no one the, bleh, reading. But no one has set foot in there since the Exodus. I dread to imagine what has become of it. Oh, there's sure to be a handful of feral familiars, and mayhap a monster or two. But nothing to trouble the likes of you. You can consider cleaning up the place, payment for my help. Fine, we'll do it. Good girl. Now, if there are no other objections, I suggest you run along to the Maker's Quarter. I'll send one of my Puragos ahead to help let you into the workshop. You need only tell him who you are. One can't be too careful after all. Off you go. I can't. I still have this. I still have this. Can't wait to finish this, by the way. And also, play near in general, because I know Coco's gonna love that. Oh god. I feel bad, because I still. I've. I got a lot of games on the backlog that I know she would love to see. That they need to finish uh, based on her recommendation. Near uh, Gra Gravity Rush 2. Gravity Rush 2, I feel like well, it shouldn't take too long. But at the same time, I don't. I don't know. I don't. I. I keep telling myself I'm gonna continue Gravity Rush, but then I. I just keep doing other things and getting distracted, and it's real bad. I thought I banned you. Mistress's relic. Pro Rago was my. Oh, I forgot I had. I forgot of auto advance. Within you will find a space dedicated to the making of familiars, along with the cavern where the requisite ingredients may be had. I must warn you 
however, that the place has not played host to a single soul, much less a room, in over 15 years, and will, I regret, be in some disarray. But rest assured, my brothers and I shall see to it that you do not lose your way. Now then, Ribbit, only say the word and I will show you in. That was a fun voice. Matoya's relic now accessible. Dungo time. Screenshot. Five point four post. All right. Well, sorry, Albano. Thematically, honestly, this works though, because it's Alize is familiar, Graha is the one doing with all the magics, and Yastola needs to clean up and clean her room. Victory will be ours! Let's give it our all! I stand ever ready! Yeah, we do. <laughs> Let's go! Like master, like people. Okay. <laughs> I'm digging it. It works. I like how the little, I like how the cauldron in the middle looks like a witch's hat. Yeah. To begin with, I need you to gather a few ingredients. <laughs> ingredients. Listen well to what the Porogos say, or you'll wish you had. Okay. Memory. It's a memory thing. I can do this. I like this music. Alright. Gather some clay. At the clay clock cauldrons. Through this portal. Okay. So I need clay from the clay clock cauldron. It's easy enough. Relic of werewood. Exo rays. Probably didn't need to cure to there.
Oh, oh, nice crit. Unfortunately, it's synced, so it's not 101k. Getting closer to the boss fight. Oh my goodness! Okay, wait, Ziggy. Son of Ziggy. Doesn't he? Wait, hey, wait. Ziggy is the one that dropped the comments that one time. Hey man, we can talk about this, right? You're not gonna drop me yourself, are you? Let's get you. Shazam! Ho oh, ho! Oh. Wait a minute, that was a basic attack crit. The glare just did normal damage. Not glare, uh, Athletus. That looks like the thing from Siren Song. Straight up. Oh, it's a mud man because the golem. Okay. That looks like a tank buster. Never mind. Oh, yeah, it was. Mm, those don't look safe. Okay. Whoa, 91k. Okay. Oh. You would clemency in front of me? I'm hurt. Wounded. Crushed. Are they? How do you know they were off?
I can't reach up. Just the beginning. in the bottom. Let us return to the other stage. If I didn't know better, I would say you were having fun. I... Well, that wasn't a bad boss. It's easy. So good. We won't say it to ask if you keep close, but the monsters. Okay, crit. Nice. Hey, on the bright side of this, once I clear this, I can watch uh, Drax videos, I can watch Grimmy's video. What in the world? This is a big place. Oh, okay. I was going to try to go towards that chest and then things came out. Down, uh, sound. Well, at the very least, we were. Oh, yeah. Okay, we're, we're gone on Saturday? Sick. Some XR kick gear because I otherwise, oh, otherwise, I was just gonna get some uh, 
Crypt Liquor. Don't look good. Hopkin and Hopkin. Ow. with you. to ask but at the same time you know yes or no at least we're happy to have we're happy to have her yeah i cannot speak english today said it we, we, we're happy to have her regardless yes here's the entrance to the boss fight What is that? Oh, okay. The Nixie. This is cute. A cute little thing. Water, water beacon spears. Things of flesh and bone to pierce? Okay, um, wash, wash away and send it to Okay, easy read. What else, what else we got? Just the beginning. Oh, mechanics time. Is it, is it gonna play music for us? Like, like this? No, I don't. I don't. I don't. Oh, it's just Dodge Aoes. Oop. Really? 
How did they find the most optimal spot? You know what? Sure, I'll just stick it. Okay. Oh! Why does it seem right? What do you mean? Are you serious? <laughs> I thought you dodged! I didn't realize there were ads. I didn't realize it was an ad phase. <laughs> oh, damn. How dare you, Mitzi. I can't believe this. I, I saw our, I saw you laughing in chat. I saw you snickering and I was like, I was second too late. I was like, no, something's wrong. I feel like it was supposed to be a shortcut. I can't believe I got bamboozled. They knew, they knew that we were relying on trust too much to m understand mechanics and they just... They stomped on us. They stomped on our trust. Can't believe this. Oh. Really? It wasn't just like a take one... Take one in general? again. Hey Froggo. Like, just kind of nudge so the girl has the other one that takes the portal. Nope, it's specifically me. Right. Easy enough. Alright, I'm already set. It takes everyone with me anyways, okay. Very thin line there. Oh, nice. Okay, let's go. Here's where I'd rather not get hit by the things. Just 
unfortunate, really. It's all like clean water now too. Oh, eats for the Shiva, Shiva Junction. I'll confess that I do end up, I do also get up getting hit. I was like moving around too much. Puro Rogo, the tepid. Kiln fire. Ooh, it's so pretty. I love it. It's like a Banjo Kazooie like with the colors. Are you serious? Oh, it's like a little, it's like a little cauldron space. That's cool. Probably standing at maximum range. Okay, it took you long enough. Oh, Alize, please. Sweet summer child, why would you do that? What? Oh, it's the Yetis. I'm trying to remember what these monster models were. God, sorry. Sniffling into the mic. I don't understand why my nose is being such a problem recently. Sorry, God. If I got if I got the flu after getting two flu shots by accident. So Moses parted the Red Sea and walked across its floor. Well, like the marshmallow? That's disgusting. I can't rescue? Myself dozing off and I just rock back and forth in my chair just to stay awake. Like a child, I actually I'm an actual adult baby.
exploring. Almost there. I can't. I can't pick those off now. <sighs> that dungeon is boring. This just happens for some reason. I just molten pretty bad. I like how that's the auto attack animation. It looks so ridiculous. Oh my... Really? Actual insanity. Okay, I'm gonna turn on the furnace. Even before I have to fight Matoya herself. Wait. Oh, what? I thought it was, okay. I thought this was the the final fight. Wait, what was the what was the boss for that then? There's no boss for that section? Bake ourselves a pork Yo, it's time to get baked. Let's get this over with. Oh. Well, New that's one mechanic. Going to be difficult. <laughs> sure, who's in charge? Mother Porksy. Poor sign, poor sign, porcelain. Happy New Rome. All right, Matoya. I almost died because I didn't bother to heal myself at that first auto. I'm so smart, yo. Actual genius? Oh, okay, 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 okay. Okay. I'm digging it, I'm digging it. Meat mallet, I don't like it. Small movie. 
adjustments, small adjustments. That's cool. I like that. That's pretty. That was awesome. I Just wasn't expecting it to work like that. Time now. Alphabet is walking in. Oh, it's twitching. Heirloom jacket. What does this look like? What does this look like? It's an heirloom jacket. That is a re. That is a recolored. Uh, It looks like the Ivalisian aiming jacket. Honestly, if they didn't proof the sleeves, I would 
probably use this for a glamour. For a machine's glamour, even. But they didn't, so. Yeah, it looks like the it looks like a recolor of the Evolution aiming jacket. Also known as the Superior Balthier jacket. So if they didn't poof up those sleeves, I would probably use it for a glamour. Porksy. Mama Porksy. We are quite tame. Then all that remains is for me to imbue her with the magic. My friends, I'm afraid I must trouble you for your ether once more. Don't you want to, like, recover first? You just went through the dungeon. Twins! Twin powers! Should suffice. Good. Let's set her to work then, shall we? I want to see some porkses. Assuming that is, someone can spare the requisite energy. A mere drop in the ocean for the great sorceress Matoya, I dare say. <laughs> Alpha I really did have to run his mouth. Our very own litter of Angelos. And we can make as many more as we want, simply by providing the Mother Porksy with additional ether. <sighs> I will require a moment before I try again. It's still hard work, but a damn sight more efficient than making them one by one. Thank you, Master Matoya. Everyone, we're a step closer to our goal. Man. Distributed amongst the allied nations, they should do much to facilitate closer dialogue with the beast tribes. And given their present travails, I believe our friends in Limsa Laminsa should be the first beneficiaries. Agreed. Though I must leave this errand to you. I doubt my legs will carry me out of the cave, much less to Vilbrand. I can carry Thank you, you out. Thank you for taking the lead in gathering the ingredients. I expect you would benefit from a rest, too. In addition to the porkses, I trust you've gained an inkling of how much effort goes into the creation of familiars. Or mayhap you attribute your struggles to old age. If I said yes, would it persuade you to treat me like an adult? <laughs> Not with that pertness, it wouldn't. Anyway, assuming you have no other favors to ask, I shall be leaving.
All right, that's the dungeon fun. That's the dungeon done. Dungeon fun. Lest you wonder, Master Motoya has returned to her cave with her store. Hmm <laughs> hmm. They are as peas in a pod, are they not? I do that. You may now enter Matoya's Relic with a party of NPC avatars. To make use of this feature, open the trust interface located under duty in the main menu. I uh, can't really... Yeah, no one's level 80. Except for Graha. Ooh, sausage and, sausage and sauerkraut. That's a that's DPS food, isn't it? Alphano is eager to deliver the good tidings to Limsilaminsa. Well then, my friends, let us return to Limsilaminsa and deliver the good news to the admiral. A word to the officer in Bulwark Hall should be sufficient to secure us an audience. Crit to turn. Crit dead. That was. Oh, this is skill speed. What am I thinking of? Wow. That is terrifying. I would very much rather not encounter something like that in the real world. Oh, one second. So I have to take a quick sneeze. What? Looking in this hole. Oh, nice Wonder Woman right there. Digging it. That's a hair top. That's the Republican Hopper Marcus's line call. Wait. I gotta check something real quick.
my goodness. It's an Ishtola cushion. furniture and stuff. I could use some I could probably use some of these. Um, I know a lot of these are definitely just usual housing elements. Like you see the the stack and the stack are the same way and spaced out even the space out the same way. Alright, well that's that. Love it. You love to see it. You really just love to see it. Anyways, I have to go to, oh, it's right here. Huh. Oh, that's 
weird. I should not be partaking in this Discord conversation in the middle of a stream. <laughs> Do I have a proposition for you? This is true. By the navigator. A cure for tempering. As often as I've seen as often as I've been in awe of you, Scions, I would not have thought it possible. And yet it is, Admiral. We have done it. Here in Limsa. And production to more familiars has already begun. You have my thanks, truly. This will do much to advance the cause of peace. Yet I fear it will take more to close the rift twixt man and beast man. Bah. Even to speak thus divides us. Uh, welcome as it is, a cure will not guarantee reconciliation between our peoples. For though summoning and the tempered may, fuel, may serve to fuel the conflict, they are but symptoms of it. If we are to resolve this primal problem once and for all, we must address the cause. We must strive for mutual understanding and find a way to leave our bloody past behind. I will head to the first, I'll show you how. <laughs> Twas I who moved that the Alliance renew its push for peace. Now that's a fancy Zahagan. Since our ancestors came to these shores some seven centuries past, we Lamentons have been at odds with those who share our island home. Save for a brief moment of cooperation with the kobolds, our history has been one of nigh-constant territorial squabbling. <laughs> Meanwhile, our struggle with the Sahagan for control over the seas has only grown fiercer, a matter made worse by the thrice damned calamity thriving, driving them to seek new spawning grounds. With survival at stake, each had no choice but to fight, and so I dismissed peace as possible, uh, as impossible. Impossible is a word coined by the weak, I proclaimed to all who'd listen, and gave up. You and yours put me to shame. Since you led us to victory against the Black Wolf, you have achieved the impossible again, and again, and again. And I thought at high time that I followed suit, 
Hence my proposal to the Alliance Council. But no sooner did I reach out to our neighbors in Vilbrim than my own people sought to thwart me. You speak of the pirates who failed to attend the meeting. I, acting through a friendly faction among the kobolds, we had intended to seek an audience with a prominent patriarch. But the bloody executioners would not hear of it, and their absence sent a message to the rest. Though they are but one of the three pirate powers, they are the greatest, and any attempt at peace would founder... would... would f what? Founder? Not flounder? I don't know. Language is a word. I am given to understand that their leader, Captain Hilfer, has been bedridden for some while with an ailment of the, of the lungs. Correct. In his, a in, his, in his absence, his right hand leads, a man named Sickard, but recently risen to prominence among their ranks. Save for his disdain for authority, little is known about him. We have invited him to speak with us more than once, but he will not come. I have tasked the Yellow Jackets and the Rogues with uncovering his motives, but they have learned not of any value. Bruh, we'll do it. We have a nose for the truth. Whatever this sickard wants, we'll find out. E. Truly, I would be much obliged. I shall look forward to hearing what you learn then. Good luck. Water. A little bit splash my nose. By way of a first step, I suggest we split up and make inquiries around town. Someone must know this sicker. If you if you could approach the pirates, Minari, the rest of us will seek out merchants and adventurers. Of course I gotta be the one to talk to pirates. Uh oh nope, I almost went the wrong way. No wait, no, I, it is the right way. Yep. Start in the north. Oh, am I gonna speak to Roswin? Wait a minute, hold on. Sailor Moon cosplay, shout out. I think. Sailor Moon Shadow. I'm gonna assume that that's Sailor Moon. Like a like one, like an actual character. I don't know Sailor Moon. Ah, Carvalane. Curious about Sigurd, are you? As am I, my friend. As am I. Sadly, I know nothing of the man, save that the bloody executioners experienced a marked improvement in their fortunes after his promotion. Quite how he, quite how he achieved this is a matter of some debate. I'm getting a lot of message notifications. No, it's not. It's Lily Pichu posting a fleet.
One more Easter egg is in the room where you fight the mother Porksy. If you look along the outer wall under the torches, you'll see eight big characters from F of One. What? What? Uh, I gotta take a look at that again. As you know, the thala the thalas what? The thalas. Give me a minute. Thalassocracy? Uh... Thalassocracy. Well, that didn't help. Thalassocracy. Oh, well. the, as you know, the Thalassocracy permits us to attack only Garlean vessels, yet these have all but vanished from the sea since the Empire turned in upon itself. In order to adapt, we Krakens have taken to trading with the East, but the Executioners are less forward-looking. I cannot imagine they would willingly abandon the old ways. So how, then, are they lining their coffers? Whatever their secret, they are not like to share it with their rivals. But mayhap you will have more luck. Real quick, I gotta go in and explore modes and toys relics. That. the outer walls under the torches. Oh, not under the torches, above the torches. Wait, would this be Matoyo's of Black Knight? Like a Final Fantasy 1 Black Mage? There's a Black Mage right there. That's... Black Mage. This warrior. That's cool. So cool. So Carvalain didn't know anything. All he knew is that despite Garlean's not being around for a while, the executioners are still getting money. And no one knows why. So that's a good that's at least a good a decent lead, maybe. What if they're just like straight up going back to the old pirating days? I wouldn't be surprised. Shit. 
shout out to Lego Highwind. Little lad. Oh, we are talking to Roswin. Nice. Oh, say. Hey, you want to know about Sigurd? He's a wildly bugger, is that it was what he is? I guess she's Australian. Found some clever way to make coin, I say, and traded it for Munskate's, Munskate's place at Old Hilferside. There was a time we raced the executioners for our pick of the Empire, Empire's fate. Empire's fleet, but the guardians are gone, and them days with them. Owned to which, we've all of us had to look for other ways to make ends meet. Whatever jumped up build dress sick and landed at Josius, whatever it may be. Not that we stra not that we sounds a struggle in mind. We do well enough garden fishing boats from the fish backs and other basties. Get the first pick of the produce for your travel seat. Quality stuff quality stuff at a bargain price. <laughs> I'm butchering this accent, I can feel it. This we pass to our sisters as as can't sail on account of getting old or wounded or a child. And they cook it up and sell it for a pretty profit. Simple. I miss the old ways. Don't get me wrong. But when I see the gals with their little ones, I think to myself, life of pace and quiet ain't all, ain't all bad. That was fun. That was fun to read. Speak with Albano. Back in Bulwark.
I see everyone has returned. Now, who would like to go first? So, just as their imperial prey began to disappear, Sigurd turned the executioner's fortunes around with a mysterious new source of income. Whatever it is, it's nothing to scoff at. According to a tavern keeper I spoke to, the crew have been indulging themselves as never before. But no amount of drink seems to loosen their tongues as to how they are coming by their calling. For my part, I spoke with a reporter from the Harbor Herald. The publication has been investigating the secret of the executioner's good fortune and making little headway. Plainly, the executioners do not wish the nature of their business to be made public. And I think I may know why. In the course of making inquiries on Hawker's Alley, an interesting fact came to light. Just as the executioners began to enjoy better fortunes, the price of, the price of crystal went into sharp decline. A sudden fall in demand, I was told. Curious, I contacted Hori Boulder, who has been watching the movements of the beast tribes, and my suspicions were proven correct. Despite ever worsening relations between the beast tribes and the thal thalassocracy, neither, neither Titan nor Leviathan have made an appearance of late, suggesting that the kobolds and Sahagan lack the means with which to summon them. Bruh, had they been stealing from. Do you mean to say the executioners are divesting them with their crystals? All indications point to that conclusion, yes. Though we have no hard evidence as yet, we must investigate further. Agreed. So how do we proceed? Oh, I have an idea about that. In fact, I've already taken the liberty of making certain provisions. Uh, I will take the sausage and sauerkraut and sell it on the market board. But... For that, I'm going to the bathroom. Before we begin the search of Sigurd. Another two hours. I just time for another break. See you in a bit.
Let's get back into it. Alphano has the look of a man with a plan. During my inquiries, a disgruntled merchant informed me that a wholesaler of crystals had recently arrived in Les... Oh, goodness. Something got caught in my throat. Wholesaler of crystals had recently arrived in Limsa Lominsa, offering wares at prices far undercutting the competition. After asking around, I was able to gain an introduction, and would shortly pose as a potential buyer in a bid to establish the crystal's provenance. The man is due to be at Oshan's Osh 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 Embrace... Is that ocean? Is that just supposed to say ocean? Ocean's embrace in far in Lower Lenosha shortly. I suggest we make our way there at once. Time for the operation to commence. That appears to be our merchant. Wish me luck. Wait, if he truly is in league with the bloody executioners, he would surely be wary of those allied to the Admiral. Admiral, the Scions not least of all. Compared to yours and Minari's, mine is an unfamiliar face. Let me play the role of buyer. Graha is right, and even if you aren't recognized on sight, you took to you look too genteel to be mixing with society's underbelly. Genteel, but very well, I leave it to you, Graha. Too posh for your own good, kid. Got business with me, cat boy. I. <laughs> You're the crystal wholesaler. don't think that face and the fact you got a big old glowing crystal staff is helping your case. That I am, but you're no merchant, so what do you want the crystals for? Um, I, uh... Huh? Don't look at us, you idiot. You'll give yourself away. Oh, I see. You're a weaponsmith, am I right? 
and you need crystals to make staffs like that fine specimen you got right there. That's right. I am indeed a weaponsmith, and I use naught but the finest materials. I bid you show me your wares. Well, we don't invite just anybody into our storehouses. It takes time to establish trust, you understand. Look, I have a large and urgent commission. If the quality is satisfactory, I will not quibble over the price. Alright. It's plain that it's no ordinary crystal adorning your staff, so I'll make an exception. Come with me. Seems to be working. Let's follow them. Oh, what am I doing? I can fly. They went into that tunnel, quietly now. You won't find any finer, especially not for the price. Indeed, I would expect to pay more than double for such quality. How could they possibly be so cheap? There's nothing unlawful about them, if that's, what you wor if that's your worry. They're from Ogomoro, if you take my meaning. Stuff's as pure as it gets. You won't be disappointed. So. How much do you want? Oh, Gomoro. Taken from the kobolds, just as we suspected. Um. Oop. That's enough. Shut your gobs and turn around, slowly. I'm sickered. Acting captain of the bloody executions. No need to introduce yourselves. We know who you are. Scions. And we also know you've been chatting to the Admiral. Got eyes and ears everywhere, see? Comes with being the only true pirate crew left in Limsa. So we've established you ain't here to buy crystals. Question is, what are you here for? I'm a New Yorker, apparently. You're bold to, you're bold to reveal yourself to us without knowing our objective, but that would explain your swift rise to power. You have spoken plain, and so I shall return the favor. We came here to learn why the bloody executioners oppose the Admiral's will. And we have our answer. Should Limsa Lamensa make peace with the kobolds, you will lose the source of your newfound wealth. A 
That's right. Just to remind you, though, we ain't breaking any rules here. The law forbids us from attacking any vessel not flying the Imperial flag, but it don't say nothing about beastmen. The only reason we keep our operation nice and quiet is because we don't want no one taking our business. Wait, just listen for us. Just listen to the end, will ya? What it's worth, I had the highest respect for you and yours. Hers, especially. While the Maelstrom were worrying about dirt in their fancy red clobber, you lot stormed Ugamaro and battered Blade and Titan himself. Raised a mug to you when I heard the news. And now we're following in your footsteps. Making sure the beastmen never summon their stinking gods again. Practically your success as we are. When there, was, when there were still Imperial ships about, we did our bit for Limsa and went, on, went after them. But with the Garleans gone, there's no one left to ply our trade on except the beastmen. So let's have that, eh? It's only fair. Psych. We ain't having it. Contentious. Contentious though some may find your views, it is true that you have broken no laws. That being so, I see no reason why you should not state your case directly to the Admiral's face. Unless the acting captain of the only true pirate crew left in Limsa Lamenta has some other cause to hide in the cave. <sighs> well said. Well said indeed. Alright, I'll meet with the Admiral. I'll even provide the uh, I'll even provide the venue. The Astalicia. I trust she won't turn down the invitation. Probably go for like another hour before you stop. Ooh, materia. Always down for materia. Huh? Hey, buddy. Hi. How are you, buddy? That's why nobody's selling the exarchic, the ornate exarchic gear. It's because it's too rare. Dang. On rough seas, Alphano is keen to report back to the Admiral. I thought myself the hunter, but it turns out I was the prey. A timely reminder that the pirate powers of Limsa Lamenta are not to be trifled with. But all's well that ends well. Grahatia's timely provocation had the desired effect, and the Sickert has agreed to a meeting. Let us hurry back to Limsa Lamenta and pass on his invitation to the Admiral. That's only 170. Can't hurt. I 
Ragazzi, questo è There should be an NPC here. There you are. Okay. Hey, Jasmine. Welcome back, my friends. What news? Found the traitor. So they have been stealing crystals from the kobolds. My thanks for solving the mystery and securing a meeting besides. Suffice to say, I accept Sigurd's invitation, and I would have you join me as my guests. The future of Limsa hangs upon the outcome of this meeting, and I would have the scions present to bear witness. How many more, how many more quests do I have in this? I want to look it up. Welcome aboard, Admiral. I'll wager you don't remember me. Sikhan, acting captain of the bloody executioners at your service. Okay. It was kind of you to invite us. Now, if Captain Hilfear has a message for me, I bid you speak. We have just the one demand. That you forget this bilge about making peace with the beastmen. Ours is a nation of pirates. Always has been, always will be. Deny us our right to plunder, and you deny who we are. True bloody right! Pirates till we die! What we want, we take! Piracy has no place in our future. Oh. What did she say? Pirates have no place. Our nation has prospered through piracy, it is true. Yet it is but one part of our long and storied history. Centuries ago, our ancestors led a failed rebellion and were driven from their homes with little more than the shirts on their backs. In fear of their lives, they sailed south until they came to these shores. Finding the land occupied by kobolds, however, they were forced to turn to piracy in order to survive. And survive they did. But not so long ago, when the Empire threatened to crush everything we'd built, we set aside piracy and joined hands with our neighbors. This, too, was in order to survive. And survive we did. 
Time after time we fought the Empire, and time after time we won, and through trade with our newfound allies, we prospered more than we ever did through pillaging and plundering. The Empire teeters on the brink of collapse. Ere long, provinces like Whirlit and Bosia and many others will regain their freedom. When they do, our matchless fleet will lead the world in a new golden age of commerce. The tides favor us, and the ocean beckons with her vast bounty. But if we cling to the old ways, this great ship we call Limsa will trade the boundless seas for a lagoon. Shall we scorn the world's wealth for a plundered pittance then? She's got a point. Or shall we embrace change and thrive like our ancestors before us? The choice is yours. But if we are to prosper in the coming age, the whole of Vilbrand must become our ship, and a Kobold and Sahagin our crewmates. Rousing words. Might even be some truth in them. But pirating's all we've ever known. And we ain't about to give it up just because you say so. Still, we're all the Mincens here and no one wants a war. So where does that leave us? Long before you became Admiral, I heard you was captain of the League of Lost Bastards. That true? If so, you'd know how we pirates settle our differences. A duel. Ho <laughs> ho. Very well. As Admiral of Limsa Laminsa, I accept your challenge. Oh, now that's anime. <laughs> this ain't over. Not till one of us is dead. Finish the job. Or I will. Denied. It's the boss. Captain Elfair. Ye fool. It was over before it began. Captain. Seems the whelps have been yapping while their master was abed. Listen well, all of ye. Since the signing of the Galadian Accord, we all of us have been part of the same crew. The crew with a good ship, Limsa Laminsa. At the helm of that ship is the Admiral. 
And tis she who decides where we sail. Was I not clear on that point? Or did you forget whose deck you stand on? Nay. Then what in the seven hells are you playing at? That's all we know, Captain. If we ain't pirates, what are we? You're bloody idiots is what you are. Idiots with your own lives ahead of ye. Ye can do anything ye want. Be anything ye want. We're pirates, I, And we pirates love our loot. But that ain't our first love. Our first love is the sea. The sea! And what she brings us! Freedom! So hold fast to that. Let the brine-crusted usk that stands before you now be the last of them as knew naught save out of steel. And make of yourselves a new breed of pirate! Lad, I made ye me right hand because I saw something in ye, and I still do. You have the makings of a captain. All you lack's the belief. Well now, it seems we're of one mind after all. Apologies for the misunderstanding, Admiral. We're with ye, wherever ye be headed. You have my thanks, Hilfir. <coughs> Your choice to duel in pistol did not escape my notice. Good old Annihilator. Ender of many a proud pirate's voyage. Hmm. Mistbeards vanished into legend. And it won't be long before I take my rest in the depths. Yet be that as it may. The old ways can only truly die when we've dealt the Empire the telling blow. There'll be stormy seas ahead, no doubt. But I'm trusting ye to steer us through to the other side. Good on the Admiral for flexing. Do I had anticipate? <laughs> Though I had anticipated a duel, I did not foresee that Hilfir would intervene. Well, full glad I am, am I that he did. It would have been a shame to kill the boy. Instead, the Welf has learned a valuable lesson, and we have made peace amongst ourselves. All that remains is to do likewise with our neighbors. Ugh, goodness, I'm so sorry. Uh, I got some crit. The Great Ship. Wilbrand. For the first time in a long time, Merle Wibb's course is clear. Now I need hard ash. I th nope, okay. And so, in the meeting we seek to arrange with the kobolds, I will have you free their leader of Titan's influence. Leave it to us. 
We will open his ears to reason. number My thanks. Ere we proceed, there is something you should know. Some fifty years passed, when the Sahagin swarmed at all holes in even greater numbers. Ever greater numbers. Limsa entered into a covenant with the kobolds. Oh, God damn it, it's a voicemail. One, one second. To men shall go the bounty of the sea, to kobolds shall go the bounty of the land. An ostensibly equitable arrangement, conspicuously lacking in detail. Aye, inadvertently or not, the wording was ambiguous, and we took advantage of it, moving in to proclaim the northern reaches of Lunosia, which the kobolds believed theirs. Bloodshed followed, then bloodshed to answer the bloodshed, and on and on it went, till every ilm of Vil Vilbrand bore the spa Spain. <laughs> till every ilm of Vilbrand bore the stain of our conflict. This is not history, you understand. It is the present, fresh and raw, and with their kindred's blood yet on our hands, we will struggle to regain the kobold's trust. Even should we cure their their tempered. Admiral, you speak of obstacles we are like to encounter at the meeting, but as things stand, I see no reason why the kobolds would agree to a meeting in the first place. <laughs> and we and so we must provide a reason. I will restore their stolen crystals to them, and personally deliver the cargo along with my apologies. Wait. They would welcome us into their midst, not to speak of peace, but to have you at their mercy. Aye, and given the wealth of crystals we will bring, I'll wager they will attempt to summon Titan there and then. Meaning a high priest would need to be present. To whom we could administer the cure. Precisely. He is the fish I would cast. Uh, I would catch. But he will not be alone. Nay, he will have guards on hand. <clears throat> Excuse me. And they will lay down their lives to protect him.
Yet a single death on the kobold side would jeopardize our chance at peace. And there might venture founders. Yet it need not. What if we were to employ the Conqueror's chain? Though we would still have to weaken the kobolds, it would allow us to subdue them without inflicting lasting harm. The artifact Mistbeard used to take goods and not life. Aye, that would serve. Well done, Marshal. So, friends, what do you think? Of, what think you of our strategy? The effects of tempering are cumulative, and we may safely assume that the High Priest's exposure to primal influence is extensive. It will therefore take a great deal of ether to reverse its effects, not to mention time. Time during which Alize would be defenseless. Even should we all look to her protection, I am not convinced we could keep an entire army of kobolds at bay. Well, I am happy to take that risk. It's not as if we have any other choice. Besides, it's what Tesline would do. And had I not followed her example, we wouldn't even have a cure for tempering. Much less a chance to bring peace to Vilbrand. So I'm going to cure that priest or die trying. I believe in you. The whole way. And I believe in you too. You and everyone. I know you'll keep me safe. It is settled then. See to your preparations and make for Camp Overlook. We will join you there or not. I think I got, I feel like I got maybe like a couple more quests left. right here. Cutscene. Alphano wasn't lying when he said I'd be defenseless, so I'm counting on you to I'm counting on you all to give me the time I need. Our sole purpose will be to keep you out of harm's way, so leave that to us and focus on your own task. Indeed, and should you want for ether, you need only say the word. <gasps> Kabu! Did you follow us here? There's something important that I want to say to the High Priest. Express, state, say! Please let me come with you, please! I'm sorry, but it's too dangerous. I need you to promise me that you'll stay here where it's safe, alright? My apologies for the wait. It took time, but we have secured our audience. All unfolded as expected. 
at the mention of my returning their crystals in person, the kobolds suddenly remembered how keen they were to be reconciled. And so, in the glorious spirit of cooperation, we are to be received by Patriarch Zada of the Second Order, who awaits our pleasure in the, in the navel. If you are ready, let us proceed to the Ugamaro mines at once. Right, will bear us to a quarry. Should he stop? Should he make to summon Titan, as I anticipate, we will halt the ceremony and restrain him. At this, all hells will break loose, and we will have an army of kobolds to entertain till Alize's work is done. Just remember, none must die. We weaken them and let Ainzar do the do the rest. It is time. Stay the course, my friends. I spy calmer waters beyond this squall. here are those godless parents Greetings, Patriarch. I am Merlwyd, Lufisfin, Admiral of Limsa Leminster. Lufisfin? I come before you to offer my sincerest apologies for the many wrongs committed by my people against you and yours. <laughs> you were foolish to come here. Stupid, unwise foolish. The Great Father shall have your souls for your folly. Well, predictable. Aye, just as we thought. That's his home game. Now, Alize, quickly. You don't need to tell me. Let none pass. We must grant her as much time as we can. Showtime. A lot of things.
you don't know what Why can't machinists get anything like that? Here you are, Alize. Well, this is scripted. What? No. I swear.
all. Where are you? Okay, she's alive. Everyone's okay. Everyone's Did cool. It work? What? <sighs> what is the meaning of this? I'm sorry, but they died by your hand. You sacrificed them to summon Titan. Would that there were a cure for the victims of the Tempered. Gabu! What are you doing here? Patriarch! Please listen to me! Hear! Heed! Listen! summoning is false. He only hurts us and those we love. For a long time, his voice filled my mind. It told me to do terrible things. Awful, unspeakable, terrible things. But I didn't give in to it. And you mustn't either. There's been too much pain already. So please, end the suffering. What... what have I done? We share this child's desire, Patriarch. An end to summoning, for it spells naught but misery for both our peoples. For many long years, man and kobold have feuded over territory pillaging and perishing for the earth beneath our feet. It may be said that we fought to survive, but what we have sown in blood, we have reaped in suffering, and it cannot go on. 
I would see us set aside the past and work together for peace. It was wrong of me to hurt my own in the name of the Great Father. Sinful, evil, wrong. But that doesn't mean there can be peace between us. Men cannot be trusted. The bounty of the land was to be ours, and yours the bounty of the sea. But you broke the pact. Violated, breached, broke. Unready as we were, what choice had we but to call upon the divine to rid ourselves of your tyranny? None, and I do not blame you for it. In violation of the spirit, if not the letter of the pact, we took your lands for our own. The fault lies wholly with us. On behalf of all Lamincens, I offer you my humblest apology. I pray you'll find it in your heart to accept it. Yet I know an apology alone will not serve to make things right. So, we will revise the pact to leave no room for doubt. And any who violate it shall face justice swift and certain. No, we won't be fooled. Not again. Please, hear me to the end. Fleeting though it was, there was a time when man and kobold abided together in harmony, in cooperation. In those days, your people shared the secrets of smelting. Knowledge which allowed Limsa Liminsa to thrive. Much of what we have, we owe to the Kobolds. And so, for the good of all who dwell on this isle, I wish to make you an offer. We will bear your people's wares to every corner of the world and trade them in your stead. In return, we will bring you the bounty, not only of the sea, but lands both near and far. Whatever you desire, the Navigator as my witness, you shall have it. There will be no more man and beastmen, just the crew of the great ship that is Vilbrand. And together, we will share in the wealth of the world. If you'll only accept our hand in friendship. We want to believe you. We truly do. But we believed you before and you betrayed us. Fool, deceived, betrayed us. There are bad men, it's true. But there are also good ones. And the ones before you are the best of them. They were always kind to me. Caring, nice, kind, and I trust them with my life. Before I became Admiral, I was a pirate. I stole. I fought. I stained the sea red with blood. Such is my past, and I dare not forget it, however much I might want to. That is death penalty. The pistol I used to pass judgment on my own sire when he fell thrall to Leviathan and betrayed his comrades. It's loaded. If you were to point it at my head and pull the trigger, I would most assuredly die.
Though it isn't much, my life is the single most valuable thing I possess. If it will suffice to atone for past wrongs, take it. A single bullet to annul the old pact and my blood to write it anew. What comes after, I entrust to this man, my second in command. I know that he will do his utmost for the happiness of all who call Vilbrand home. I do not trust you. Not yet. But Gabu does. And I will trust him. We want you to know that we respect your faith. There's nothing wrong with giving thanks to the land which sustains you. But summoning is different. Should you hear of anyone who would attempt it, we ask that you appeal to their better judgment. Or failing that, seek our aid. We're always ready to help. Many and more of my brethren are yet enthralled to the Great Father, just as I was. If you could free them too, I would be grateful. Appreciative, thankful, grateful. It is we who should be grateful, Patriarch. I thank you for affording us this chance.
would seem we have found a way forward with the kobolds. Next, we will help the Second Order to free their tempered brethren from thraldom. Theirs is far from the old, only order, of course, and it will take no small amount of time and effort to reach the rest. But reach them we will, however long it takes. I would say that I was in your debt, but that has long been true. So instead, I will say thank you for helping us plot a new course not only for Limps and Lominsa, but all Eorzea. Estinian? I think I'll save the last. I think I'll save the last quest for another time. I'm starting to lose it. That was. That was. I was real concerned that they were just going to kill Merle Wib. Or Einzar, even though he's not the most important character. I just don't like... I just... We already lost so many people. I'd rather not lose more. Thanks for sticking around. Um, love you all. If you're still, whoever is still watching, take care. Stay safe. Be healthy. Be happy. Bye.